Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Connie Wilson and Howard Lee. The House passed a controversial gun bill this past week. It would allow people with concealed carry permits to bring guns into schools if church services were be being held in those schools. I want to hear your response to this bill and whether you think it's possibly going to pass the Senate. Connie, I know you are a, a big gun rights person. That was what NRA you, endorsed. Yeah, so tell me what you think of this. Um, I live in rural Randolph County, and I know in churches in our area, there are folk who do bring guns to church. Um, there's really? A, there are. They, really? they have concealed carry permits and they will bring, but I will tell you what's going on. There's it used to be you went to a traditional church structure, but there's a metamorphosis going on right now and within the church community. And there are a lot of new churches popping up where they initially meet in schools. And so folk in particularly in rural areas and, and Representative Turner is from Iredale County, another rural area. Um, people who normally would go to church and might have, you know, have their little gun with them, all of a sudden realize I'm breaking the law. So it's basically if it were a regular church in a rural area, no big deal, you'd bring it in, but now with the newer churches. If I was that's pastor in one of these churches and my wife is a pastor, I gotta tell you, I'd quake in my boots when I was standing well, up in well, the pulpit. Well, on the flip side, they're saying if somebody comes in like what happened in Charleston, and this is what Representative Turner brought up, but if Charleston had happened in Randolph County or Iredale, they better watch out. Howard Lee, what's your take on this? I, I just think it's out of bounds. I think there's no, no rationale for having a gun in church or even in school. I, I just think that is, that is beyond what I would accept. Uh, if churches are concerned about security, then hire a security service and someone can stand outside to make sure that there's no harm to the membership. Uh, I would think uh, it would be really amazing if something were to happen and every deacon in the church pulled out his gun and started shooting. <laughs> I'd hate to be around that church because some of these deacons don't have any ability to aim <laughs> and uh, I, I find that to be just out of bounds, really. Wow. Well, you know, the interesting thing is people have been doing it for years and you've never heard a problem. So if you haven't heard a problem in all these you years. You know that to be true. Have you ever heard a problem? No, I can you, almost you know to be true you, that it, people have been it, taking guns to oh, church. Oh, it, it's a fact. So and yet we haven't seen it in the paper. We're going to have to be but more careful about problem, arguments. So they didn't need the gun. Yeah, we're going to have to be more <laughs> careful about discussions about religion inside the church, <laughs> then, right. aren't we? <laughs> no question. Just get up and yell, thou shalt not kill. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.